Johnson. Hey, Eric. Uh, is there a sense that you guys are still kind of waiting on on putting together like your the offensive performance that you guys are kind of capable of? Like, do, do you feel like you've hit that yet this year? No, no, not even close. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to say we have a long way to go, but I think we definitely haven't put our best stuff on film. I don't think we've played our best game as an offense yet, um, whether that's rust or chemistry or whatever it is. Um, I, I still don't think we've played our best game and not even close to it. So what, what, do, you, uh, what do you think is holding you back? It, it, I mean, obviously, if you knew the answer to that, it probably wouldn't be an issue anymore. <laughs> but uh, what, what's kind of been, like, the, the most consistent issue, do you think? Uh, yeah. I mean, Stand. just execution, execution. We have to go out every day in practice, in the games, execute our, execute our job. Um, and that, that falls on all 11 of, us on the, 11 of us on the offensive side of the ball. Um, and we've got to improve on it. Next one for me, Ms. Morrell. Yeah, uh, obviously, first game with Breeze back up. Uh, as an offensive line, is there any adjustment period, you know, when you get a guy back at, you know, that position? Um, I wouldn't say there, there really was. I mean, Drew's been the quarterback here for, what, 16, 17 years now. The guys are used to him. The guys know him. Um, you know, we're just, we're just getting back in the groove with things. Next one, maybe just. Ooh. Yeah, uh, Amos, you got to follow up. Go ahead. I'll just go after you. Okay, um, Teron named to another Pro Bowl yesterday. Um, what's it like, you know, and Alvin too, and, you know, five guys in total. What's it like playing with Teron and Alvin and all those guys? I mean, Teron's a great guy on and off the field. You know, he's a leader in the room. He's a great friend to have, and I couldn't be happier for him. You know, that's, that's a big achievement. Um, yeah, I know that he's happy about it, so it's, it's a good thing for him. Next one's for Amos Morrell. Yeah, um, kind of talking about uh, Minnesota's defense, uh, what have you seen from that front? Uh, I know obviously hasn't performed the same way they did when you guys last saw them, but what have you seen from them? That they're a very solid, disciplined group. Um, you know, they're going to play their gaps. They're going to be where they're supposed to be. Um, and they're physical. I mean, regardless of what the numbers say, they're a physical defensive line, and they're going to play their responsibility really well. They're really well coached. Next one's from Luke Johnson. Erica, how big of a role have uh, Dan Rauscher and uh, Brendan Nugent played in just keep, keeping you guys cohesive despite all the moving pieces you've had this year? Yeah. Um, well, first off, they're, just, they're two of the best O-line coaches in the game. Um, you know, whether we have injuries or COVID things going on, they've, they've always gave us the next man up mentality and made sure that that next person in was, was ready to go, that they were prepared. You know, they've been coaching everybody the same, whether you're a starter, whether you're a backup, whether you're the jumbo tight end. Um, you're getting coached the same every day, that way that everybody is ready when it's their time to come. How do their styles work together? Um, they're, they're, they're opposite, but they're similar at the same time. Um, it's it's an interesting dynamic. I wish I could give more into that, but I really don't have a, a great answer. They're they're just both great coaches. That's all I can say. And the last thing I wanted to ask you is, uh, like, how often do you like practice the uh, if if at all this like sprint downfield for for a block? I saw you doing that again. I think on Latavius' touchdown this week. Um, I mean, it's a big emphasis in our room. Coach Coach Rushar is big on getting to the ball getting downfield just in case something happens. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for a block, but I'm also just there just in case, you know, the ball's on the ground, somebody needs to recover it. Um, so I wouldn't say that I've practiced it. It's, it's become a habit by now. Next one's from Amy Just. Yeah, kind of piggybacking on an earlier question. Um, Y'all's uh, run game last week wasn't what um, – I know any of you wanted. Um, can you pinpoint uh, to anything um, in addition to the third downs that uh, was a catalyst for that? I would, I would definitely say the biggest thing by far was the third downs. Um, I mean, it's hard to get all the runs or all the called runs that you want when you're one of 11 on third down and you're not really getting the chance to stay on the field and call those runs. Um, and honestly, I wish I had a bigger and better answer for that, but third down played the biggest role in that. 
All right, 